Hey everyone, just a quick video to show off some of the new features we've added. First thing first, we'll, uh, you'll notice that we've added some more sprites, as well as we remove the backgrounds on the sprites. So now you can actually pick the background color instead of it being that static green. Uh, this uh, breaks compatibility on some of the old maps because the sprites are a little bit different, but your old maps will still work. You just can't use the new sprites with uh, sheets with it because it basically kind of jumbles it up. But uh, your old maps, as long as people are running with the original sp sp tile set, totally works. So as you can see, you can change the tile set. You can pick a color. You can have it something like a winter wonderland or a desert speech. There we go. Um, you just basically put in a hex color value in there, and it will change it there. Uh, another one is that we've added the ability to upload um, custom price sheets. So if you want to go and add your own price sheets, I made a quick rough example here upload that uh, you can go ahead and do it it's the sprite sheets have to be 1600 pixels wide by 1280 pixels tall I'll add uh, a link to the example one that I've created in the description on the site and um, each of the pixels each are each of the squares have to be 160 by 160 pixels wide uh, what I did to kind of get the pixel art it was I was working in 10 one tenth that size so I was working 160 by 128 and each of the squares were 16 by 16 once I did all my pixel art and my animation when I exported it out I exported it at 10 times its size with nearest nearest neighbor as a selected option for uh, rendering so that nothing got blurry um, worked out really great uh, but it, you guys can work in 160. I actually look forward to seeing what you guys can create with that kind of finite, uh, or something not finite, but bigger value when it comes to this, the uh, pixel size. But yeah, you, now you'll have the ability to upload your own. Uh, another feature we've added is the ability to add ends to a world. So when you, you click on a level, you can click on add exit like before, but you can also add end. This is kind of a way to end a level, uh, cap off a level. Uh, so I've added an end here that is just a flower, flower, flower. So if I go into that world, save map, and I do flower, 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 you'll see that it says that's the end. But I can also do donut, donut, flower. And now it says you've found the warp whistle. Next world to here. So I other end I added here gives you the world map um, builder the ID. This is that code right here, and what that will let you do is basically join your worlds together so that you're not stuck just making one world at a time. You know, now you can build out an entire game. Um, one thing that you may have noticed while I was working in here is that if I click on a level now, I actually have lives. Uh, when you start a world, you start off at three lives, and you have control of uh, how many lives you have. If you get a one-up, it goes up. If you die, you go down. Uh, it's purely cosmetic, but it was a suggestion by one of the writers, and, it, and I thought it was a great that you know you can kind of keep track of that across um, across your worlds. Uh, sorry, across your your level, uh, not across worlds. You'll have to go and kind of remember what you had from the world before, but at least this way you'll be able to keep track of of your lives for that world. Um, another thing you may notice up here is the reset button. Now, this is not a good example to show it on, so I'm just going to quickly go to oops, sorry, this world here. Um, and you'll see the reset button. One of the things we've added is uh, level progression saving. So now I've beaten the first exit, and if I hit refresh on my window, it is staying on the screen. I'm not losing my progress. So uh, now you don't have to beat everything in one shot. You, can leave, you don't have to leave the tab open. If for some reason there's a bug, which is very possible could happen, and you need to restart over, reset will up there, brings you back to the beginning, and the exit code will start working again. Uh, so that's kind of it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys can make with these new tools. Uh, the comments on Reddit, Twitter, and uh, YouTube have been fantastic. Great ideas coming in, and I'm really uh, happy people are excited about it. Um, if you guys keep using it, I'll keep working on it. And uh, yeah, see you soon.